Hey everybody, this is me showing you my second signature in my Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer Little Golden Book Christmas throw together thing. Very fun. So I did a video already on the first signature. You can check that out. And now I'm going to show you the second signature. As you can see, I was starting, I was going to put it all together and I thought, well, wait a minute. I showed them the first signature before it was all done. So let me show you the second signature before it's all done as well. And I actually filmed some process of creating this signature. But in that process, my phone decided to become full. So I am <laughs> stealing an old iPhone from the stash that I have, and I'm using that to film. So we'll see if the quality is any different from this phone, which is, I think, a 5, iPhone 5, I'm not sure, and as opposed to my iPhone 6S. So let me just check my focus here. This is signature two, and in this in this book, it made sense to only have two signatures, which is fine because it's just gonna be super thick <laughs> as is, and I haven't even stuffed it with tags and the like yet. So anyhow, let me show you what I got. So again, reinforcing the binding and covering up the, you can kind of see it, the color bands that are on the edge. So did that with some washi tape. All right, and here is a tuck spot. And this is not a flip. Didn't do a flip there, but it is a pocket. And on here I stamped a cool reindeer and the tree. And this is felt. On here, should be a little closer. I don't know if you can see it. It's just soft. It's like soft felt. Belly band. How fun. Here's a ribbon that I just glued and smushed. I use the fabric tack. That's kind of a, my go to for making book stuff because it's just as, it's more, it'll stand the test of time. And this is a pocket. Maybe not for that. Or um, that is a tuck spot, and this is a pocket. So yeah, that'll be fun. And more of the story. And this is my little tuck spot. So I put some things there. And here's my doily with Better Homes and Gardens um, pictures from their previous magazines, Christmas magazines. This one says 1926 on it. Very cool. Picture from um, a Christmas storybook that I had. And I'll send around the Oregon. And to cover up the the writing or the text, I just put in a piece of paper and a printable and a fabric scrap. This I did earlier, and this is going to be a pocket, like so. Not a whole lot on this page, but I think what's going to happen is I will have like a something, a card or something, paper clipped onto this. And I found some vintage wrapping paper in uh, some of my stash. I went downstairs and had to go look through a box of stuff, as if I don't have enough Christmas stuff all over my room already. Um, but yeah, I found that paper and it's so pretty. It'll fit it. It's a tuck spot there. And here I did a burlap 
ribbon tuck swap that's going to be there for that and just put ribbon on ribbon. Here is another pocket. A little envelope doodad. And this is another one of those um, magazine covers. It has the date right there, but I can't see with... It's pretty small. I can't see it. And a little tuck spot here. Put a little button. And a fabric flip from two different kinds of fabric that I have. I don't have a lot of Christmas fabric, but with things like this, there's so many other materials you can use that, uh, materials as in paper and yarn and ribbon. So fabric is just one other element. And more reinforcing with some washi tape. And this pretty silky gold on there. And I pulled out my stamps and my embossing stuff and did that on these four corners. It looks kind of pretty. More of the story. And just to cover up some text again is just a lined piece of paper and a die cut with a bow. Printed paper. Another tuck spot and here's the other side of that bag which will be a pocket, right, okay. The other side of the um, music paper and then there's another tuck spot made with that wrapping paper. Here is a vellum tuck spot. Oh, well that's not gonna work. There we go. Won't that be pretty? Something like that. I have a few printables like this um, also. This will be a tuck spot on the side. And the same on here. And here's another magazine from Better Homes and Gardens, 1933, it says. And this one, 1954. I thought that was a really fun find. And uh, I used to get Better Homes and Gardens regularly, and uh, I just saved the Christmas ones. And I think the one that I got these out of is from three years ago, maybe. I just hadn't made a Christmas album yet, a Christmas book. So, yeah. A pocket, tuck spot, and this is just more of my lace that I put on my printer with a piece of paper behind it and just copied it. Double-sided it. Another pocket. Don't know what I'm going to do on here yet. I might just leave it blank and then just put a clip with a piece of paper on it. And you can still write on it. There's plenty of space to write. A belly band. A tree print from, and this paper is from my friend Gretchen. Thank you, Gretchen. Very um, good impressions from the coffee dye. Yep, that's fun. And I'm pretty sure she used a dark roast because it's strong smelling. You know, it'll air out, but <laughs> it's strong. And yeah, here's another pot, uh, corner pocket and a card scrap that is also going to be a pocket tuck thing. And then the end of the story where Rudolph held his head high lovely story so that is that and what I were gonna some of the things I'm going to use to finish up the book when I get it put in the once I get it all bound up is this this frilly fluffy whoops dangle that I put a bell on and a bead and some other embellishments It'd be kind of fun right lots of different kinds of things, textile things. One thing that I enjoy about these books is there's so many different things to touch. It's like any this ribbon is, is the yarn is so soft and this this is a felt kind of ribbon and you've got the the glittery stuff too and the lacy things and there's just lots of things to touch and if I'm a little kid I'm gonna think that's cool. Other things I'm going to add to it 
some, these are going to be some holly berries, not halle berries, different, or this, you know, these are uh, flat side, flat backed uh, gems. Here's some of the bulb clips that I'm going to maybe add some dangles to. And of dangles, I've got this. And I also have some of these light bulbs. Look at that. Found that in a, I've got a whole bunch of them. I got all different colors. And then I have these brads, which are little light bulbs. These are brads. I've got hearts. My friend Gretchen gave me some of these snowflakes that I can use to put on for embellishments. And then I have several paper clips that are red and green. So lots of little doodads. Oh, this is also from Gretchen. I thought that would go good too. I'm going to show you that's got a little more texture to it. Focus. That's the five S for you, or whatever it is, and then scraps of fabric that I can use to create more um, cards and things like that for, or even more. This is a paper clip that I've been embellished. Fun. So, oh, and let me remind you, if you didn't look at my other video, on it is a freebie, which includes these small embellishments that are, you know, retro and kind of, they're kind of cool. They're all, I made a, a two sheets of freebies that were from the graphics fairy that I've made available to anyone who wants them um, on my other video, the first video of this book. And that also, let me show you some of the things that it would include. Oops. Pictures like this. I think this might be on it as well. I don't know if it's a big one or a small one. I forget what I put on it but lots, lots of different things. There's some cute little vintage children and and I thought kids would go good with this. Yeah, so different things like this, kitties, what's this, a cat? Upside down. So, yeah, um, go ahead and check that out for yourself. That one's a big one. So, lots of things that uh, you can use in your Christmas book journals for free. Just because I was happy to get them from the Graphics Fairy, and I'm sharing my compilation page. It's a collage type page with anyone who wants it. So, there you go. That's that's my second signature. My next video will probably be the one where it is completely finished and showing it off to y'all. Let's put this in here. I'll tell you right now how thick it is. And so, ta-da! <laughs> I have a way to close. I have a closure idea too, and it, it revolves around an old chain, some ball pins. And you hear my husband downstairs doing his sawing. They're actually getting walls up today. I'm pretty happy about that. So, yeah. Okay, friends. Hope you got a little bit of inspiration for your own uh, Christmas making stuff. And, again, I will show you the rest of the book as it, in its finished form in the next video. Okay. Thank you for stopping by. God bless everyone.